In exchange for a better looking graph, Texas Instrument decided to set the graph settings to the very lowest out of the box instead of just giving us a slightly faster and better graphing calculator. If we go ahead and uh, graph uh, a third degree polynomial, this is just an example, uh, let's do uh, 4x squared minus 5. So it's going to take uh, quite a while to graph this function compared to uh, certain calculators. This is not by this is not slow by any means, but it could be a lot faster. Okay, so all you gotta do is just go to the window settings and uh, F1, 9, and what is it? Discontinuity detection. So you wanna have that off. Okay. So if you have if you have that turned off already, as you can see now you have access to X resolution or X res. You can uh, change that. By default, I believe the uh, 89 titanium is set to one. The lower this number is, the uh, uh, nicer your graph is going to look. The higher the number, the more crooked your graph is going to look. So let's set it to one. So this is the default one. Just by turning that uh, uh, the first option off. Uh, you going you are going to notice uh, a speed bump already okay so let's go and try to regraph it as you can see it may not appear that much faster but it actually is if uh, I bring uh, a second Texas instrument then uh, you will see the uh, uh, difference for yourself okay as you can see I've got a second calculator and uh, it's going to be uh, the same uh, function here let's go back so you can see clearly so we have the same polynomial function here so I'm gonna go ahead and regraph both. Uh, let's uncheck this and check it. Check them back. And I have uh, the discontinuity detection uh, turned on on this one, and it is off over here. Okay. So let's go ahead and graph them. One, two, three. As you can see, it is slightly faster. You know. So just by having that feature off, it's going to be faster already than the uh, original one. Okay, so you can even make it a lot faster by uh, adjusting uh, the x res so like I mentioned earlier the number this number is the lower this number is the nicer your graph is going to look so I like to set mine to uh, uh, anywhere between two or four uh, let's just do four for now and uh, let's go back and uh, now let's uh, try to graph them again Okay. okay, so now this is like, uh, this is pretty much day and night. As you can see, the graph is still looking great. So just by adjusting those settings, your graph is going to be a lot, lot faster, even faster than the HP 50G that came out in 2006. Okay, and uh, this can also uh, be done on a TI-89 Classic, the one that came out in 1998. So you can make it a lot faster. Okay. But the drawback uh, of this is when you are uh, graphing certain functions, such as uh, uh, trig functions, uh, per, let's say, uh, just uh, pay close attention of how crooked it's going to look. So let's do uh, a simple trig function. Let's do 1 over cosine of x, which is the same thing as a secant of x for those who don't know. Okay, So let's do the same thing here. Mm, 1 over cosine of x. Okay, so now let's try to graph them. Okay. So, for someone who, <laughs> even for someone who knows math, this can be uh, very confusing. Uh, the graph is, uh, they are very different from one another. So yeah, that's one drawback of using uh, that feature. It's going to make uh, the graphing speed much, much faster, but at the expense of uh, uh, the quality or uh, the resolution so yeah that is that now you know so you can uh, just uh, give these uh, uh, this uh, setting any number from between uh, 1 to 10 10 being the max 10 is going to be almost uh, unusable graphs and 1 is going to be the best looking graph okay so if you set it to 2 2 is going to be better looking than 4 obviously okay it's still going to be fast you know you can probably guess uh, this kind of looks like uh, uh, it kind of looks like a second function okay and with also the discontinuity uh, of as you can see uh, these uh, uh, you, you see these uh, extra lines here like uh, uh, joining the graphs 
joining the line so yeah yeah that is that if you have any questions just make sure you put in the comment section and i'll do my best to answer them